around the world like a diplomat. I could probably catch you with your knees down. Have you looking at me like you knew it? Getting way too caught up in these towns. Tell me that you're not that stupid. Hey everybody, Nerd365, and I'm back with you guys with another video. In this video, I wanted to share an app with you guys that I came across in the app store that I thought was a phenomenal app. Um, you guys should actually go try it if you're into survival games. Go download it, give it a try, tell me what you think about it. The name of this app is Last Day on Earth, a zombie survival game. Now, I came across this game the other day, and I've been playing it like the last... 24 hours and basically it's like it like it says survival it's a survival game so you do basically what you do in these survival games so we're going to jump right in here i'm going to show you guys basically how it starts uh when you first start you're going to start in the same place i start not the same rank but you're going to start in the same place so you're going to start here but without the backpack you will not get the backpack i have the backpack because i've already been playing so you basically start off as a survivor in the middle of nowhere on your your own little part your own little part of earth or wherever you want to you want to call it um, from here you can build a home and as you see I began building a home already which is the most important part the most important part is build a home people build a home gather food and be ready to survive now beyond the building a home part you also got to go out and you have to find stuff to survive you have to find you have to chop trees you have to find brick you have to find rock you have to smell stuff you have to do all kinds of stuff in order to survive like most survival games so when you come out you be looking at a screen like this when you want to travel around uh, to go to different places. From here, this is mostly uh, limestone ridge right here where you can mostly get rocks. But as you see, it also has wood, it also has stone, metal, and the threat level is one. So it, it would make for a good place for you to go find rocks, trees, and things of that nature. But this place is predominantly rocks, predominantly. Um, each section is sectioned off by colors. You have green, you have yellow, you have red. Red, of course, being the highest one. You also have people around you, as you see here. You have different people's uh, bases as well, which you can also go to and visit, but I preferably wouldn't because they can also kill you. So you're free to go visit if you like. You can kill them, they can kill you, whichever one you feel like doing. There are also bunkers on here, which you'll get a code for once you build what's needed to find the code to the bunker. And this is where you find the good stuff, in my opinion. I've made it to the bunker uh, the first time playing. That's where I found my first gun at right there. Then you also have these tree sections, which is pine bushes, um, pine grove. This is basically where you're going to find your trees, but they also do hold stone, loot, and different things of that nature. And it's the same thing for those, the threat levels, green being the lowest, red being the highest. Now, sometimes you also get random supply drops. There will be sometimes random drops on the map, and it will give you a message saying a random drop has been found. And for you to get there and to go check out the drop and see what you can find in it. Sometimes it's food. Sometimes it's weapons. There's different things. Now, the main thing with this game you want to remember is the game is focused on survival. Survival. No one in, in, is your friend in this game. So when you get in this game, you are playing with other people. It is does have a PvP kind of thing to it. So when I go in, let's go in. I'm going to go somewhere, for example, to show you guys real quick. We're going to go into pine bushes real quick. And I'm not going to walk. I'm going to run for you guys, which is the option you're given. You can either run, which costs you energy, or you can walk, which costs you nothing but time. So if you got something to do, you got to go make some coffee here. Whatever you got to go do, you can just walk. By the time you come back, you have spent no energy, and you can do what you do. But I'm going to run over here so I can show you guys a little quick play of what's going on here and how this works. Now, as you see, I go across. Now, I'm traveled made it to my destination now you enter your destination wait for it to load up now once you're in places like this you're away from home you're, you're not near home uh, animals attack you zombies attack you other humans attack you it's pretty much survive 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 so let's go on in here you can also get clothes later on by uh making clothes i currently don't even have a weapon i think okay i do have a bat so we're going to go ahead and get rid of this zombie with this bat. Each weapon has a different amount of damage that it takes off. Some lower than others, some higher than others. Uh, preferably, you want something high once you begin to play. You want something that's going to be able to take the enemy out uh, without too much loss on your end. So as you see, you can go and mine some rocks. You can also pick up uh, random limestone. You can chop down trees. Now, I've played a number of survival games on... Uh, app wise iOS and Android and most of them are crap 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 and I'm just gonna be honest I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna sugarcoat it most of them are crap I, I had one that I liked a little bit but it became very repetitive I mean you couldn't really build nothing it was a lot of just cutting trees and doing nothing else that pretty much was it you had nothing else to do
Survivor here and show you guys how it works with a Survivor, or hopefully not, because I am currently a little low on energy, which also is not a good thing. When you come out here, make sure that you have you some some vittles ready. So I got a couple vittles in me in case somebody does run up and decides to try to fight me. Now, when you go out here, oh, see, you also like run, running zombies, fast biters. They really are fast, and they'll chase you if you ain't got shoes on. It's hard to get away from them. Uh, their energy is higher than the slow walkers. I think slow walkers are about like 40, while these guys are probably about 60, give or take. So while you're out here in what I like to call the wasteland, you can go out here and collect what you need to collect, go back to your base, and make your base... Uh, more fortified, a little harder for zombies to come in and destroy your stuff. Uh, let's see if we can get a person in here. I mean, there's usually people in here, and I usually end up killing them. So we're just going to give it a sec. I'm going to show you guys a little gameplay of like pretty much what you do. Now, you don't have to always do this yourself. There's also, if you look on the left lower side, there's an auto button, which if you press that, he will collect himself. He'll collect himself, he'll fight himself, he'll do everything on his own. So if you feel like you can just let your guy loose and you don't have any particular things that you're looking to collect, uh, this would be your best route just to press auto and let him do his own thing. And you see there's a wolf there, and we'll be sure to collect his meat if he drops any. He usually drops meat. I guess he's not going to drop no meat for us this time around. You can also find random sticks on the ground, so sometimes you don't have to have... Uh, the needed utensils to break down trees because sometimes you can just find the items already on the ground and ready to go and since we don't have anybody in here I'm not gonna make this video go too long for you guys so I'm just gonna go ahead and exit but that's basically what you do you travel to each space and you will collect various items that you need to build up where you live at and I'm gonna go over here back into my backpack I'm gonna show you guys basically how this works now once you start you won't have most of the stuff that I have you will have I believe the hatchet pickaxe and spear, small box, campfire, and garden, I think, and the basic backpack, I believe. Maybe up to the shower, I, I don't really remember, but that's basically what you start with. So each time you rank up, a different part of here will be opened up. So as you see, I've already opened up the chopper, you get bandages, you get clothes, uh, you get the higher graded chests, you get cleavers, you get spike traps, and, and it goes on and on. It goes on and on with different things that you can get through the game you get couches you get fishing rods you get SWAT helmets you can get a bed it's just so much that goes on into this game um, fabulous game I love it so far is it's a very fun game you also oh, one more thing before I do in this video I want to tell you about is the herd see that red right there that 11 hours and 17 minutes that's a herd herd has come through and will destroy your base so your main focus is build your base to be a strong base see that's where I messed up in the beginning I did not really uh, build my base up because there are no instructions when you start this game you're basically just dropped in and you basically wing it there's no there's no help there's no tutorial there's no nothing it's pretty much um, if you played a survival game before you should be able to, to figure this out uh, with no problem I had no problem doing it once I really began and if worse kind of worse remember that you can hold these I hold your finger down on some of these items when you're in your sorry I'm in the wrong I'm in the wrong place here if you notice to the right side, it'll tell you what's needed for each item over here. As you see, you need some pine planks, rope. It'll tell you everything that you need. All the stuff is basically found by you going to these different places. Now, in the green areas, you're going to find basic stuff. That's what I noticed. You're going to find really basic stuff. If you're looking for higher stuff, guns, etc., things like that, or higher players to, to kill and probably take their weaponry, you want to go up here to this orange or to this red area. Now, a lot of people also say this game is pay to win. I technically don't think it is, but you can pay for various items. You can buy uh, a starter pack. You can buy the zombie warfare pack and things like that. Now, buying this stuff to me really has no effect on the game to an extent because these games degrade after time. So after time, your gun is going to be useless. You're going to drop it. That's going to be it. Your gun's going to be over. So I don't really see it as a pay to win type of game. It's just a survival game. I mean, if you got to survive by paying money, survive by paying money. But remember, you got to keep calm in this game. You got to craft. You got to build yourself a home. Remember, there's enemies everywhere to kill you guys, wherever you guys go out to, uh, to visit or pick up anything always watch your back always watch yourself when you're in your inventory uh choose a survival vehicle when you get the chance get a survival vehicle that way you'll be able to to do what you do a lot faster and you can travel to a lot more places like as you see over here you can't get over here without a vehicle 
as you see it says transport required so some places you have to have the proper transport in order to get to them you can also join a clan they also have clans in here but you can't really get that until you get your communications in order and you can't get that i believe till later you can't get to a watchtower a communication tower or anything like that till later on but once you can i believe you're able to, to communicate and talk to other people so i hope you guys go to android store go to ios apple store go check it out check this game out give it a try guys i'm pretty sure you like it as much as i like it if there's any questions you have feel free to ask me i will answer them to the best of my ability remember this is last day on earth zombie survival gang on ios and android i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys enjoyed this video remember thumbs up if you like it thumbs down if you don't remember to comment rate and subscribe and share these videos and i'll see you guys next time number 365 i'm out of here peace